Oh, okay, see how it is. You thought. David! Nico, how do you keep getting in here? Like I said in the last episode, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Are you here for another Bio Mortal Kombat? Last episode, you asked for 15,000 likes. Guess how much it got? Not 15,000? Over 21,000 likes, David. How are the cage frame that strong? You know what it is, dude. They're too strong. Smashing that like button all apparently, the time. Apparently, apparently. You promised another episode in October, so you know what you gotta do, right? We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Let's get it! All right, so we're at Walmart right now to buy the arcade one-ups. So if you guys haven't watched one of the previous episodes, we bought the Mortal Kombat one-up arcade machine. But they just announced that uh, there are miniature Mortal Kombat machines at Walmart. So we're gonna try to find them. Let's go. We got mini uh, Tetris. But where the Mortal Kombat at? It looks like it might be a bust. It might be a bust. Boom, target sighted. Mortal Kombat Arcade Classic. So it's a mini version of it. And uh, we got a couple, so let me try to get the best condition one here. It's definitely this one. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you for saving me the best condition one. Walmart quality right Walmart there. Walmart quality, guys. You gotta save that to get signed, bro. If you guys want to get your own um, Mortal Kombat Arcade Classics in this perfect condition, go to Walmart. Thanks, Walmart, for sponsoring this video. That one's chipped on the corner. Oh, but that one's also bent. Come on, Walmart. Why couldn't... Look at this one. This one's like in perfect condition. Pristine. You know why? Because no one cares about <laughs> Dig Dug. <laughs> but uh, I think that's everything here at Walmart. So, let's hit it. That's a good one. That's a good one. It's for the kids. We got one item at Walmart, so now let's go on to the next location. I go to this GameStop all the time. Right. Well, you know what? I like this GameStop. I found out that Mortal Kombat was on the Wii. I did not know that, but uh, apparently I haven't. So uh, we're picking it up, boys. No one wants to buy this game, so I'll do it. Hey, David. What's up? Oh my god, I saw this and I got excited because Red Psycho Ranger, but then this? What are the odds? This is the only one. Looks like it. Oh, oh my god. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but there's a theory that someone in my area is buying everything Mortal Kombat. So I guess they, they missed one. And this is where we strike. Can't. Can't do it. Can't do it. We're not filming, right? You wouldn't happen to have Mortal Kombat wallets, right? No. That's what, yeah. That's what Anything I we would have. Alright, so we were at Party City because Halloween is right around the corner. I remember there's Mortal Kombat costumes. So let's see if we can find some of those. Right there. There it is. Mortal Kombat, what to see. <laughs> can I get a picture? Yeah, yeah. Sub-Zero outfit, Sub-Zero sword, Party City, mission accomplished, and we met a fan, Shasta Aiden. Uh, but now let's go on to our next location. They have, they have Dreamcast games here. I don't know if Mortal Kombat was ever on the Dreamcast though. Oh shoot. <laughs> I don't know what this game is. 
Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm glad that this Mortal Kombat art does not look like that. Sega be. CD. Sega CD nuts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Zero man, that guy looks serious, dude. He has seen some things. <laughs> this thing probably didn't sell, so it's probably been here for ages. Oh, but then we also got this. The sword. The other place had this, but it didn't have the actual uh, tag. Success! Where's second Charles? There's a giant tent. Let's check it out. here wow okay Mortal Kombat Legacy now this is season one I don't know if they made a season two of this if they did I don't see it here all right we got something let's keep going how did I miss this I was looking at here mm -hmm. and then I just look up and I see this is it the MK9 Xbox 360 fight stick That's it. Blu-ray, MK Legacy, and MK9 Fight Stick. Drop that thumbs up, and let's keep going. Nico, we got this on tape. What up? We got Codalicious in the building, dude. MKX, Codal Con, obscure figure, just kidding but no one really buys Kotal Khan, so that's why he's here. You know what that means. He's coming home with us. Here we go. Mortal Kombat Deception, let's go. Okay, this is why we check out all the consoles. Oh, we actually got something. Mortal Kombat 9 for the PS3. Now, I have MK9 already, who doesn't, right? But I don't have the PS3 version, and the cool thing about the PlayStation version is Kratos is an exclusive character on the PS3. So if we're getting the fight stick, and I don't own this, let's pick it up. You're not Ariel. Charles always coming in clutch. We got a pretty decent haul today at Second Charles, uh, but let's go find some more Mortal Kombat stuff. Tomb Raider graphic novel right here. We got gaming related items. It should be around this area from what they told me. We got Street Fighter versus Dark Stalkers. We got Street Fighter Classic. And we got Mortal Kombat Velociraptor 2. We found actually Mortal Kombat 
uh, Venus 2 and Vulture 3, but we didn't find the first one, so we're still missing Viagra 1. Yes, we're missing Viagra 1. I know a lot of you guys were saying, Cage, why are you saying volume uh, weird? I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, we found Velociraptor 2 and 3. We just need to find the one, all right? Yo, Mortal Kombat Deception Official Strategy Guide. It's freaking awesome. Does it come with a poster or anything? Usually it comes with stuff. Oh my god, it does. It's still here. A Baraka poster. Holy. Yo. Is that sick? stash right now he's looking at some secret stash he's pulling out the box right now i don't know let's see let's see if he brings back some goodies more combat two more dose ring me up <laughs> all right we are done wow it is dark outside now but uh, we got our big uh, haul here of MK stuff. Shout out to Guilds of Blades Retail Games and Comics, Michigan's largest game and comic store. Shout out to them for being so cool and uh, hooking us up. We're not really giving it to us, we bought it, but for having all the more comic stuff. Now, uh, let's go home. Woo! And that is another episode film of Buying Everything Mortal Kombat. But also, um, I was like, you know what? I'm feeling good today, so why not end off uh, the video with a little haircut? So, um, so let's show off all the things we got. As Second and Charles, we picked up this MKX Kotal Khan figure. The Kotal Khan figure has his giant sword, two interchangeable hands, and that uh, knife. So that's pretty cool. We then picked up a couple of uh, goodies here. We got on the Xbox Mortal Kombat Deception, Mortal Kombat Legacy on Blu-ray, and we got Mortal Kombat 9 on the PS3. Now, I already have Mortal Kombat 9, but I don't have it on the PlayStation 3. And I had to buy it because PlayStation 3 had the exclusive Kratos character. So uh, we had to get it for the collection. This is probably the coolest item we got at Second and Charles. And it is the MK9 Arcade Fight Stick. Look at how awesome this is. I saw it. I was like, I knew I had to have it. It's in the layout of like the old school MK arcade machines. And then you can see the inners of the arcade stick and you can put your uh, wires down there. I'm never going to use this because this is for Xbox 360, but it's cool and it's for the collection. We took a quick stop at Walmart and I uh, picked up this mini Mortal Kombat arcade machine. Look at that Scorpion on the side. There's the back and there's the other side. So Walmart is selling these mini arcade Mortal Kombat machines. So if you guys don't want to buy the big arcade one-ups, you guys can buy the miniature arcade machines. Let's see if we can turn this thing on. How cool is that, guys? The next location we went to was GameStop and we picked up Mortal Kombat Armageddon on the Wii. What a game. I didn't even know this was a thing, but it is. And we got it. Also at GameStop, we picked up this brand new Sub-Zero Todd McFarlane action figure uh, from their new MK11 line. It's pretty amazing. Also, I heard from the GameStop employee that Scorpion is coming out soon or I think he's already out now. So I might have to go and pick that up for a future video. But we got Sub-Zero and he's looking very, very cool. No pun intended. The next location we went to was Disc Replay and we picked up a couple Mortal Kombat goodies here too. We picked up on the PlayStation 2, Mortal Kombat Deception, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, Greatest Hits. This is pretty awesome. Mortal Kombat 1 on the Sega CD. What you guys know about this? It's definitely cool, and I'm glad to have it in the collection. Uh, the next stop we went to was a couple of Halloween stores, and uh, what well, you can see here, we picked up a lot of stuff. The Sub-Zero Ice Sword. This is a licensed Nether Realm product so that's pretty cool for the collection this doesn't have any mortal kombat logos on it so but we went to another halloween store and found the exact same blade but this one actually had the mortal kombat logo on the back and it is mortal kombat x sub-zero sword Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! 
Double swords. Am I am I sub zero yet? Can I be Grandmaster Sub Zero? What's up? We're picking up two swords. We gotta have two sub zeros, right? So we picked up MK9 Sub Zero costume. And then we picked up MKX Sub Zero. I don't know which one we rocking for Halloween, but all I know is it's gonna be very cold. <laughs> you know, cause Sub Zero is and the last bit of stuff we got was from Guild of Blade comic book store. Uh, shout out to my buddy James. He worked there and yeah, he hooked us up with some Mortal Kombat goodies. I'm like, yo, James, where are that MK stuff at? And he's like, I got you. So he went and got everything Mortal Kombat in the store. And let's check it out. First, we got Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero on the N64. I heard this game is straight up booty cheeks. But you know what? For the collection. We got Mortal Kombat 1 on the Genesis. Uh, we got three Super Nintendo games here. We got Mortal Kombat 3, Mortal Kombat 2, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And then we got a stack of uh, reading materials, if you will. We picked up a bunch of Mortal Kombat individual comics here. You guys can see the artwork there. This is a pretty awesome one. Issue number seven has the whole Cage family. Scorpion, Devora. Oh, this is a pretty cool one. Issue number 12, Sub-Zero. Scorpion and issue number 10 Raiden and the last item we picked up here is something that uh, oh man This is like an artifact. It is a strategy guide of Mortal Kombat Deception who uses strategy guides anymore. It's pretty cool though Like looking at all the artwork and all the strategies and all that the cool thing about this is the poster is still intact it has Baraka on it usually when uh, these things come out people rip out the posters and hang them up, but this one is complete and it's in our collection now but that was everything we bought for this episode of buying everything mortal kombat i hope you guys enjoyed you guys got that last video 15,000 likes so i promised i would make this episode and i think we fulfilled your promise because we bought a lot of mortal kombat stuff i gotta say without the help of the sponsor of this wait do we have a sponsor for this video hey nico did we get a sponsor for this episode of buying everything mortal kombat we didn't? No. Dude, I bought so many items thinking we got a sponsor. Well, we do. We don't. I don't know. I thought you knew about the sponsor and you're going to keep it a surprise until last. No, Nico. 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 We're in some troubles right now, man. We're in some troubles. Talk about the next one. No, I don't want to talk about the next Buying Everything Mortal Kombat. At a Comic Con, baby. You want me to do a Buying Everything Mortal Kombat video at a Comic Con? Yeah. Do you know how expensive that will be to make that video? We do. We gotta up the ante. I know we keep saying we gotta up up the buying everything Mortal Kombat videos, but like that's pretty high up there. Buying everything Mortal Kombat at a Comic Con, that's like every booth. Hey man, you, gotta do what you, gotta do. you know what? Fine, fine. If somehow the Cage fam gets, I don't know, let's say 30,000 likes on this video, we'll do a buying everything Mortal Kombat at a Comic Con, all right? Yeah, I know the Cage fam is strong. I don't know if they're that strong though. 30,000, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, do you want to buy some Mortal Kombat items? Um, I can't. I can't afford this video. It's kind of a kind of pricey. <laughs> Hello, Here you go. Anyways, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Buying Everything Mortal Kombat. If you guys did, drop a huge, please drop a thumbs up on this video. Share it to your family, your friends, and um, <laughs> let's try to get this video a lot of likes here. Cause uh, yeah, this whole video was funded by ya boy and only ya boy. Um, yeah. You're lucky. I love you guys. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe to your channel if you guys are new. Ring the bell icon so you guys get notified every time we upload a brand new video. Mine is on Cage Games, and you just got Cage. I'm broke. Free. That is good. Oh, 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 o